I'm not a big fan of John Updike, uh, but he, he talks about kind of everyday existence, so he just talks about this happened, this happened, this happened. But, you know, uh, one I do like is um, uh, Lung, the guy who did Lonesome Dove. Um, McMurtry. 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 McMurtry, right. Yeah. McMurtry. You know, him, I don't really, I, I love his writing because the characters are so interesting and the situations are so interesting that I could just read one chapter and be happy and I'm just glad there's another chapter and another chapter. But I, I personally think if you want to have a story, it, you know, where you, where you have the, the character develop from one, you know, from beginning to end and change or, or some situation happen that gets resolved, I think if you don't know what the beginning and end is, I mean, I've seen people do this and it just, I think it just doesn't work. But that, that's my opinion. People, people disagree with me, but I know this Vermont Studio Center. There's some really great writers, but I got bored of writing, of reading their stuff because the sentences were terrific, but the characters weren't doing anything. Anyway, so that's my way of doing it. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other books ready to publish? Like your selection, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, I, I, I guess I'm not sure if I don't, if I have bad luck or what, but. When this book came out, uh, there's actually there's a an editor at HarperCollins named um, oh, come on, Bella, um, Adam Bella. He's the son of Saul Bella, who won a Nobel Prize in literature. And Adam Bella is a conservative, uh, is conservative pop politically. Interesting. His brother came to speak at a bookstore near us in Menlo Park, up in the Bay Area. And I didn't know any much about his brother. When I listened to his brother talk, who had written a book, he actually mentioned Adam, and their father, Saul, was very conservative politically, Adam is very conservative politically, and his other brother, I think it's David Bellow, was very liberal politically, and they really don't get along, which was interesting. But Adam read my book and really liked it, but he said, Harper Collins won't publish it. Not so much that it's conservative, but it's conservative political fiction. It's like. Conservative and political fiction just don't go together. Political fiction is hard enough. Conservative political fiction is it's really hard. So he was starting a, uh, and it's a long answer to your question, he was starting a website, and they wanted to feature my book uh, for conservative writers. It's called libertyisland.org. It's called, or if you look at Li Liberty Island, it's a bunch of conservative writers, fiction writers. And my book was going to be the big one, it's going to be the first one. Well, they, they fell a year and a half behind schedule. By the time they came out, he said to me, well, I can't make a big deal about a book that's a year and a half old, so write another one. <laughs> it's like, okay, I mean, it's, it's not like something I can just do, so, you know, um, maybe I'll try someday, but I don't have anything in the works. So I have the books for you. I have three books for you. Oh, great. And the rest are for sale if anybody wants them. But uh, I'd like to give you a copy of the well, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Do you want me to sign it? Sure. Sure. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. Does somebody have a pen? Do we have a pen? In the box. That's okay. good. <clears throat> Nicer one there.